Hi everyone, this is Douglas at PCC. How do you configure who has access to what in PCC EHR? When I log into PCC EHR, maybe I see today's schedule and the messaging queue. Uh, that's because I handle check-in and I answer some portal messages. But if I'm a clinician, uh, the office manager, or, or some have some other role, I'm going to need different queues up here. And I might need access to billing configuration, or I might be the person who handles referrals and I need access to the report library. How do we grant access in PCC EHR to different queues, reports, and other tools? Your practices administrator, uh, you could be your system administrator, opens the user administration tool. It's up here in the tools menu. And first, you take a look at the roles tab. Now, I'm going to set up exactly what someone at the front desk might need to do their job. So I'll open up the front desk role. Okay, I see a long list of PCC EHR features and permissions. So let's say that my practice has decided that when you're at the front desk, you need access to the schedule and the messaging queue, uh, but you also need the tasks queue. So I'm going to check the visit tasks queue right here. Add that permission to the front desk role. Great, I save. Now, in that same way, I can grant whatever permissions each role needs. Now, I know what you're thinking. Tommy Tom works at the front desk sometimes, but they might need other tools. Tommy is also a nurse. Or maybe they're the practice's system administrator. People aren't just one thing, especially in a pediatric practice. Um, the answer is, you give people more than one role, and they'll get access to all the features of all their roles. So I, I set up this front desk role, uh, but I also set up a provider role and a system administrator role, all the roles I need. Then I go back to the list of PCC users at my practice. Let's open up Tommy Tom. There they are. And let's go to their role assignment tab. Okay, so I pick what roles Tommy should have. I know uh, this isn't true anymore, uh, but they work at the front desk. Let's see. Let's say Tommy is also the HIPAA officer and the system administrator for my practice. Okay, now I know that Tommy will have access to everything they need when working at the front desk and everything they need as a system administrator. Tommy won't see anything they don't need. Uh, the roles stack up. So to double check my configuration work, I can even scroll down here and see all the different options that those two roles grant. Okay, now you know how to use the user administration tool to set up roles and grant permission to the right users at your practice. Now you might have a power user at your practice who has all the roles and sees all the queues. That's fine. But by changing what queues a user sees when they log in, and by changing what tools your staff have access to, you can actually make their jobs easier, less confusing. Uh, and you can prevent accidental changes to configuration and prevent security mishaps. PCC support and your client advocate can chat with you about all of this. We often help practices figure out what roles to set up. So give us a call or send us an email. Thanks for watching.